Hi everyone, this is Julie with Beat I have a quick tip for you today, and that is create your own chain out of jump rings. So sometimes when we're creating jewelry projects, we need just a little bit of chain, whether it's for a necklace extender, or maybe it's for a pair of earrings that you wanna have a little dangle to, and you maybe don't have chain on hand. So I do this a lot, is I create my own chain out of jump rings, because I always have jump rings on hand. So to do this, it's very, very simple. All you're going to do is you're gonna open up a jump ring, connect another jump ring onto it, close it on up, put it down, open another jump ring, slip another jump ring onto it, as well as the last one you just did, Close it on up. So now we've started our chain, if you look at this. So we've got four links of chain together. I'm gonna to do a couple more here, but this is just something you would do for as long as you really want it to be because most chains are really just lengths of links, which are essentially jump rings connected together. Some are soldered shut and some are not. So I often find chains that are not soldered shut, which essentially just makes them jump rings. So wanna make sure you close your jump rings. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what we have so far. So now we just have our little chain. So that's what you're gonna do is you're just gonna keep doing that for whatever length you want, for whatever project you're doing. And of course, jump rings come in all finishes and they come in different shapes. You can get an oval shaped jump ring, which could create a really interesting little chain as well. You could do a really thick one or textured one, lots of different options. But that's my quick tip for today is if you need a little piece of chain and you don't have it on handy, on hand, see if you have some jump rings and then you can make your own chain.